Okay, Red, are you all set for some garden fresh gaming questions? Garden fresh, you say? I didn't know questions grew like that. Oh yeah, they grow thick and fast in the question garden. Like this one from Epic Will in Launceston. What do you water them with? Knowledge. Dear GGSP, I have two questions for you. One, in the holidays, I got the game Wargroove and I got stuck on the third level, so I was wondering if you had any tips for us spawnlings. Two, I have a question about cosplay for Gem. What material do you use for your Wargroove armor? Thanks for your answer from Epic Will. Also, please do more online live streams. Thanks, Epic Will. To your first question about tips for Wargroove, well, I agree, it can be pretty tricky at times. Can indeed. Luckily, we've put together a handy video to help you through. You can check this out on our online channels for some great pointers for approaching battle, like choosing the best tile to attack from, and taking your time to expand on the battlefield. And remember, if you're really struggling and just want to progress through the campaign, you can always customise the difficulty. Plus, a recent update introduced a checkpoint system, which is sure to help out too. Mm. Now to the cosplay question for you, Gem. How did you make that wonderful war groove armour? Well, I can't take full credit. Our fabulous ABC costume department put our outfits together, but I did make Boatmeal Caesar armour out of foam, some glue and a lick of paint. That glue was hot glue, though, so if you plan on using that, you'll need to get a grown-up involved. Oh, it's like a mini Craftanoon segment up in here. And you did an amazing job. How cute did Boatmeal look all battle-ready? He's not allowed to go into battle, though. Mm. Anyway, I can confirm that we will be continuing our online live streams this year, every Friday afternoon. They're so much fun. Now, moving on to a video question from Ethan. Hi, Good Game Small Boy. I have two questions for you. One, have you ever done a review on Hello Neighbour? And two, when will Secret Neighbour come out in Australia? Thanks, Ethan. In answer to your first question about whether we reviewed Hello Neighbour, well, no, we haven't officially reviewed it. But Gem did stream it last year, so you can check that out online. Yes, indeed. Watch that if you'd like to see me somewhat terrified and very much frustrated. As for when Secret Neighbour might come out in Australia, well, for those who don't know, Secret Neighbour is the multiplayer expansion for Hello Neighbour. It was teased back in E3 last year. And apparently you will also be able to play as the neighbour himself. Ah, how the tables have turned. The hunted becomes the hunter. Sure. <laughs> anyway, Secret Neighbour is currently still in alpha testing phase, with the release date said to be 2019-ish. So that's suitably vague, and I think it might just be for PC initially. But there is an official website set up for Secret Neighbour. Maybe you could get on the alpha testing yourself. That is a really good idea, Gem. Now on to our next question, and it's from Masterhand in Final Destination ACT. Noob alert, noob alert. I have a noob accusation that I must share with you. In the first episode of GGSP in 2019, Darren said that Echo Fighters in Super Smash Bros Ultimate are the same and are for personal preference, which is false. Echo Fight are different characters in the Super Smash Bros Ultimate roster with noticeable changes, such as Ken being faster than Ryu and having fire effects on most of his moves, and how Daisy and Peach have different hitboxes. So Darren must now drink from the noob cup. Yes, welcome to the show, Will. What is this? A noob accusation for Darren? Holy moly, this is exciting. Yes, in fact, I've noticed quite a few of our vigilant GGS peeps have brought this matter to our attention. We'd better get Darren on the line and inform him of his newfound status as the custard of the busted variety. Definitely. This is gonna be good. Ahoy, Darren speaking. Hi, Darren. Uh, get your noob court shoes on, Buster, because there is a noob accusation against you from Master Hand. Oh, yeah, busted custard, Darren. Busted custard. Oh, 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 oh. what? That's, that's ludicrous, preposterous, outrageous. What are the details of this bogus proposal? So, when you were talking about Echo Fighters in Super Smash Bros Ultimate in Ask SP in the first ep of the year, you said that Echo Fighters are the same as other fighters, but they're not. And apparently, some may have better abilities. I think you'll find that I acknowledged that Echo Fighters do in fact have some slight alterations, but as with all Smash character selection, I maintain that this is a matter of personal preference rather than some Echo Fighters being necessarily superior. But what about the point about different hitboxes and Ken's speed and fire effects and all of those things? Doesn't that mean that some Echo Fighters are just better? Well, all fighters in Smash Brothers have strengths and weaknesses, pros and cons. So even with slightly different hitbox configurations or minor changes to speed or moves, the success you have with any fighter still depends on your play style. Some players will prefer and play better using the movesets of certain fighters. 
Other factors, such as who your opponent is, and even the stage, may influence your fighter selection too. So, saying that there is always an objective benefit to choosing certain Echo Fighters over their original fighter would be misleading. I shan't be penalised for what is essentially a matter of opinion. I shan't, and I won't. But, but, Darren always gets away with this. Can't we, I don't know, yellow card him? That's a great idea. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Darren, we think this at least calls for a yellow card. <laughs> you should have mentioned that stuff about hitboxes and such in the first place. <laughs> Negative. I'll be filing an appeal with the noob court to have that yellow card expunged from my record post haste. Goodbye. No amount of sponges can clean up your noobery, Darren. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that pesky Darren. Don't worry, we'll catch him out sometime. And on that note, we're out of time. If you have a question for us, be it video or question or otherwise, head here and send it in. And don't forget, video questions we choose to be on the show will earn themselves a GGSP pin, so why not give it a try? Right, right, let's go round up all the sponges so Darren can't expunge the newbery from his record. I don't think that's what he meant by expunge, but sure, who doesn't like sponges? I love sponges. Sponges are great.